Time to get new running shoes? Well, maybe. Hey, I'm Braden, and I work on REI's how-to articles and videos. I like to get all the use I possibly can out of my gear, but the one piece of gear I use most frequently is also the piece of gear I need to replace most often, my running shoes. Really, it all comes down to the foam in the midsole, and that's this part right here. So you may be asking yourself, well, why can't I just run in the same pair of shoes forever until they literally start falling apart? Well, you can, and I have, but the issue is that over time and with use, this foam starts to lose its springiness and its resiliency. It doesn't do as good a job of absorbing the shock of each footfall. You might feel fine when you're just walking around or standing in the shoes, but when you're running, the impact is about four times your normal body weight on each foot strike. When your shoes aren't able to absorb that impact, when the foam is old and worn out, all of that impact is just going into your joints, which is bad. Hence the need for new shoes. Lots of factors will affect exactly how long your running shoes last. Things like your weight, the type of running surface you're on, even just the age of the shoe. But in general, you should be replacing your running shoes every 300 to 500 miles to make sure they still absorb that shock. If you're very consistent about how many miles you run every week, you can use that to estimate out how often you should be switching out your shoes. So for example, if you run 15 miles every week, you should probably be switching out your shoes every five to eight months. However, if you're like me and you don't run consistently the same number of miles every week, it can be helpful to use a run tracking watch or an app. I use a Sunto 9, uh, this running watch, and I absolutely love it. I checked the app this morning and I wrote it down. These guys have 550 7.5 miles on them, and these guys have 461.6. Both are well overdue for an update. If you don't have a way of tracking your mileage, or if you're just pulling an old pair of shoes out of the closet, there are some other ways to check if it's time to update your shoes. Some signs are more obvious, like if the uppers are separating from the midsole, if the tread on the outsole is worn smooth or even worn through the rubber and into the midsole, or even if the heel cup is starting to fall apart and you're starting to see the plastic in there, those are all signs it's time to replace your shoes. <sighs> I really need new shoes. The less obvious signs are that the midsole just feels kind of weak, so if you push your thumb into it and it gives way really easily, or if you can really easily twist or flex the shoe, then it might be indicating that the foam is past its prime. You also might see these little wrinkles develop in the midsole that weren't there when they were new. Again, that's just a sign that the midsole is fatiguing and it might be time to replace. Of course, all these signs and feelings are pretty subjective, so when in doubt, I recommend erring on the side of caution, getting a new pair of runners, and starting a log so you can keep track of how many miles you've put on them so it'll be easier to tell when it's time to replace them in the future. And the other piece of good news is, this doesn't have to be the end of the line for these shoes. I'm gonna make these my new walk around shoes. They not, may not be great for running anymore, but they'll be totally fine for just walking around. These guys might be a little bit past uh, any redemption, so they're probably on their way to recycling. All right, that's it, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas for other videos, leave a note in the comments and we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna go buy some new running shoes. Take care.